Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, you can say the understanding at transient, uh, at scoped and at singleton services uh, in ASP.NET Core and you can say that DI uh, dependency injection and what is the difference between amongst at transient, at scoped and at singleton. Uh, if you uh, know about uh, at transient, what is the at transient? Transient lifetime services are created each time they are requested. Remember again, transient lifetime service are created each time they are requested. This lifetime work best for the lightweight stateless services, lightweight and the stateless services. Add scoped. Add scoped uh, lifetime service are created once per request. Okay. And add singleton. Add singleton means singleton lifetime services are created the first time they are requested and then every subsequent request will use the same instance. In the singleton use same uh, instance in dependency injection. Okay. Add and transient always create a new instance and add scoped add scoped lifetime service are created once per request only once per request okay let's have to uh, check the example between amongst okay so uh, that is the dependency injection example so you can see that a transient I have we have a first instance task ID that is the A. So just uh, increase the size. Oops. Yeah, you can check that. Uh, first instance task ID of the transient that is AE857 and last that is 3BF. And in the second instance task ID, I mean to say that the first instance and the second instance of the dependency injection related to the transient service, both are different. So just look at that, just copy that and paste in the new tab. You can see that here we have five for a new request uh, given by the client. Okay, so the new task ID will be created and there, there is also a new. That is the difference from this. Okay, so in the transient method, lifetime service is created each time they are requested. Newly created each time they are created. The lifetime work best for the lightweight and the stateless service. And in the scoped service, you can see that F0, F0. 5556-5556. I mean to say that scoped lifetime service are created once per request. There is the first request. Uh, if you are using scoped, then at the same instance, uh, same object you can say that uh, shared in the all instances to related to the scoped services. Okay. But in the different request, they are the different so here we have in the uh, second request we have the same instance in the first request that that different okay you can see that so you can notice that scoped service lifetime service has created once per request okay once per request and other request again once per request okay and in the singleton, you can see that the same thing. You can see that is the same. And in the second request, also always same, remaining same. So the at singleton's lifetime services are created the first time they are requested. Subsequent request will use the same instance. That is the difference between among. So uh, let's have to check that example like that. So first of all, create a interface. Oops. First of all, create a interface 
that is three interfaces first one is the i transient service we have a guid and the method is get task id and the scoped service the similar method get task id in the singleton also we have a get task id so interface is clear and in the repository section we have a one class and that class implement uh, from the three uh, dependency injection interfaces that is i transient service i scoped service and i singleton service and implement that method that is get task id that return id property that is newly created a guid okay so in the constructor in the home controller section we create two instances of single uh, service like i transient service i transient service the first instance and the second instance similarly i scoped service scoped service 1 scoped service 2 similarly and the singleton service 1 and singleton service 2 initialize in the constructor in the home controller like that like that so in the view section you can see that transient service 1 dot get task id that is call uh, in the service method that is the repository pattern you can see so here we have a two uh, instance of each uh, dependency injection um, like transient scoped and singleton in the view section you can see in the index of view section so the transient 1 transient 2 scoped 1 scoped 2 and singleton 1 and singleton 2 so so here you can see in the transient new instance is created that that is the new instance and also the new instance so always create a new instance in the scoped service you can see that that is the same instance and the same instance but that the difference between in the second request that is the first request by uh, by the client that is the second request put by the client that is the difference in the scoped you can see in the transient is uh, difference that is the different and also the different from the first request 33 and 5b5 okay but in the scope you can see that that is the same that is the same but in the second request that is the difference okay and in the third that is a singleton always remaining the same in each request that is that is so that is the difference between among Let's summarize what we discussed so far. With the transient service, a new instance is provided every time an instance is requested, whether it is in the scope of the same HTTP request or across different HTTP request. Okay, always created a new instance with the each HTTP request. With the scoped service, we get the same instance within the scope of given HTTP request. That is the same given HTTP request, but but. a new instance across different http request that is the new instance created across different http request okay and with a singleton service there is only a single instance there is a single instance an instance is created when service is the first request the first request is created so instance is created that is like that Uh, requested and the single instance uh, single instance will be used by all the subsequent http requests throughout the application so the single instance is used throughout the application so there is the difference between among so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.core thank you very much